So far, we've been fairly prescriptive in our approach to chipping, but the essence behind a really good short game is being creative. So what I would suggest you do is to get very comfortable with those basic chip shots, so the eight iron, pitching wedge and sand wedge, and then start to be a bit more creative in your practice. So of course you can position the ball anywhere around the practice green. You can also play around with the way that you play the shots. And by that, I mean start changing some of the key variables within your setup and notice the relationship between that and the way that the ball flies. So things you can change are going to be the width of your stance, of course. Where the ball is positioned will always have an impact on the ball flight. So I can have the ball as far back as the big toe of my right foot and as far forward as the big toe of my left foot. I can change the position of my body weight, so leaning forwards or leaning well back. And crucially, I can also change the shaft angle. So if I lean the club forwards with my hands, I decrease the loft on the face. And if I lean the club back, you can see that the club is pointing more skywards. You can also, of course, change the angle of the club face. And if you set the face slightly pointing to the right, so with an open face, you're going to have more loft and the club will actually skid through the grass even easier. Now, as you're playing around with all those variables, you'll start to notice a relationship. And that is that the steeper the club comes down into the ground, the lower the ball flight's going to be. And the more shallow and sweeping you are, the higher you're going to hit the ball. So, for example, if I stand to the left with the ball at the back of my stance, and my club shaft leaning forwards, the club will come down steeply, and you can see how that decreases the loft and will obviously hit a low shot. If you play that with a sand wedge, you may even get some spin. If I want to play the shot a little bit higher, I'll have a slightly wider stance, the ball is forwards, and my weight is even, or even slightly on my right foot. Now my hands are going to be probably over the ball for this shot, And with that shallow angle of attack, the ball's gone a lot higher. Now, be mindful that when you're changing all these things, there is a, another key relationship, and that is that the more you have the ball back in your stance, and the steeper the club comes down into it, the easier it is to strike it. But of course, the lower it's going to go. The more forward you have the ball in your stance, the harder it is to strike it, but of course, the higher it will go. To play the ball that far forwards in your stance, you're going to need a really nice, fluffy lie. So that's a lot of information and the last thing I'd want you to do is to stand over the ball with all that instruction going on in your mind. So it is important that you practice enough and you practice creatively so that you get to the point where you can, well, handle any type of life for a start, but also be able to assess your shot, pick your landing spot, choose the right club, and then of course through your setup, be able to hit exactly the right trajectory to hit your landing spot and have the ball run all the way to the hole.